We're going to present information that will challenge the widely accepted industry approach to selecting insulation materials for industrial pipe applications through the use of a small-scale testing apparatus. Performance characteristics of the three leading industrial pipe insulation materials used in ammonia refrigeration systems will be evaluated and documented under real-life conditions. Using the four standards of criteria listed in both the National Commercial and Industrial Insulation Standards Manual and the Ammonia Refrigeration Piping Handbook, the performance of Owens Corning Formular Type 4 Extruded Polystyrene Insulation, Dow Styrofoam Type 13 Extruded Polystyrene Insulation, and Grade 2 Type 4 Rigid Polyiso Cyanurate Insulation will be compared relative to matching process temperatures, environment, cost to install, and cost to operate. Let's begin with looking at the thermal performance of these materials under identical process conditions. To level set thermal performance comparisons for different insulation materials, the commonly accepted industry practice is to compare thermal conductivity values at 75 degrees mean temperature. Each material across the spectrum of insulation materials falls into one of two groups. One group relies on the entrapment of air to enhance thermal performance, and the other group relies on the entrapment of low conductivity gas to enhance the thermal performance. Why is this distinction relevant when evaluating thermal conductivity? Insulation materials with trapped gases or blowing agents have a unique characteristic that must be considered, the boiling point of the gas itself. As illustrated on this chart, the thermal conductivity of the insulation changes as the temperature of the insulation approaches the boiling point of the trapped gas. This results in thermal conductivity values that are not consistent through the range of temperatures which the insulation will be exposed. To illustrate how this happens, we'll conduct a demonstration using three different insulation materials made with different processes and blowing agents. In order to directly compare the product performance, we'll install the same thickness of each insulation material on the same section of pipe. Using the traditional comparison method, the best performing insulation material should be made from the grade 2 polyiso, followed by the Formular Type 4 XPS, and then the Dow Type 13 XPS. In fact, that would be the case if the temperature of the system were installed and run with a constant mean temperature of 75 degrees. But what actually happens when the temperature drops below 75 degrees? To understand how this plays out, the demonstration conducted by laboratory technicians begins with a 2-inch bare copper tube. A section of each of the insulation materials is then installed over the pipe and taped. From there, the pipe temperature is lowered to below a mean temperature of 50 degrees Fahrenheit. This is accomplished by filling the pipe with pellets of dry ice, which lower the mean temperature to mimic the operating conditions of many ammonia refrigeration systems. After the system reaches equilibrium, an infrared thermographic camera is used to measure the surface temperature of each insulation material to determine how it performs across the surface of the insulation. As seen on the camera readout, the surface temperature of the grade 2 polyiso is actually lower than the Formular Type 4 XPS by 3 degrees. This declining performance is due to the condensation of the trapped blowing agent gases at cold temperatures. The difference between the Formular Type 4 XPS and the Dow Type 13 XPS is even greater with the difference of 13 degrees. So, what can appear to be a better performing insulation material at a mean temperature of 75 degrees may, in fact, have considerable performance differences when the mean temperature is 50 degrees or lower. These differences in thermal performance illustrate the fact that comparing thermal conductivity values at a 75 degree mean temperature is no longer an accurate indicator of the thermal resistance under actual field conditions. Because of the difference in thermal performance, Engineers can save considerably on costs by reducing the thickness of Formular Type 4 XPS while still meeting the same thermal performance as Dow Type 13 XPS or Grade 2 Polyiso. Reducing the overall pipe insulation circumference also generates additional cost savings from the reduction of material costs for the volume of mastic, joint sealers, vapor retarders, and protective jacketing required.
switching materials from Dow Type 13 XPS to Fomular Type 4 XPS will directly reduce materials cost while maintaining thermal performance, making it an easy choice for engineers who are informed of the facts. Thickness is also relevant when looking at applications that currently use grade 2 polyiso. At a mean temperature of 75 degrees Fahrenheit, both Fomular Type 4 XPS and grade 2 polyiso have similar thickness requirements. As the mean temperature drops below 75 degrees Fahrenheit, Fomular Type 4 XPS thermal performance exceeds that of grade 2 polyiso. This enables engineers to easily replace failing grade 2 polyiso with Fomular Type 4 XPS for a long-lasting, clean, and enhanced thermal solution and avoid unnecessary changes to supports, hangers, and saddles. This demonstration, supported by the laws of physics and thermodynamics, illustrates the indisputable fact that Fomular Type 4 XPS delivers an efficient, cost-effective, clean, and outstanding performing solution. Rather than default to past solutions, look to Owens Corning Fomular Type 4 Extruded Polystyrene Insulation to help you make a difference on your next project. Owens Corning also provides solutions and support to engineers when conducting insulation sizing calculations. Engineers can take advantage of supplemental manufacturer's thickness calculations using the IIAR design criteria in Chapter 7 of the Ammonia Refrigeration Piping Handbook. These calculations are available at owenscorning.com or from your local Owens Corning Area Sales Manager. To learn more about Owens Corning Formular Type 4 XPS insulation, please visit owenscorning.com or call 1-800-GET-PINK.